All right, tonight we have learned the feds have busted a long-standing gun store in Albuquerque. They claim a man was making illegal sales and trying to sell a fully automatic rifle. Tommy Lopez joins us now to explain. And Tommy, federal agents went undercover in this one. Yeah, they did multiple times. Mm -hmm. They say they bought guns from this person at the store three times. They spent thousands of dollars to do it. And they say each time he did something illegal. So the store we're talking about is Shooter's Den on San Mateo. We weren't able to get a hold of anyone who works there today. Its social media pages say it opened in 1986. The feds say it was a man named Anthony Steven who was breaking the law. This is detailed in a search warrant. Agents with the ATF, the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, filed it earlier this month. They say Stephen was breaking licensing and registration rules and selling parts that are illegal when attached. Starting in March, agents say they gave the store a warning, then they went back and seized a gun. Then undercover agents went three separate times and they bought guns. Here's what they say Stephen was doing illegally. Building guns without a manufacturing license, not completing background checks, not reporting sales, and not charging tax. They say he was illegally selling a rifle with a device that makes it fully automatic and a pistol with a certain stabilizing device. They quoted him as saying, if you are going to break one expletive rule, you might as well break all the expletive rules, right? We'll note that the warrant calls for taking all the guns, accessories in that store, and any records that uh, investigators might find. As of now, though, we don't see that Stephen is facing any federal charges. Mm -hmm. Now, the Biden administration has issued some rule changes that mm -hmm. apply to both the situations we're talking about involving these illegally modded guns that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Right now, they're facing challenges in court in America. Gun rights groups have scored some victories just recently in the yeah. last three months in these. And right now, both of the major challenges are in the hands of federal judges in Texas. So there's a ban on a certain style of fully automatic gun that targets an attachment called forced reset triggers, making them illegal. The ATF says one company has sold more than 100,000 of them. The Trump administration actually banned a different attachment called a bump stock after the 2017 mass shooting in Las Vegas, Nevada. There are tighter regulations on pistol braces, and that means people must register them and pay fees. These devices allow people to shoot one-handed. They were made for disabled people. Opponents point to their use in mass shootings in America. The ATF says there are three million of those in the country. And gun control has been a, a statewide conversation for years now. I mean, last month, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham d declared uh, gun violence a public health emergency and then tried to temporarily ban, conceal, and uh, open carry permits in all public places. That's right. That's, that was the public health order. She mm -hmm. made that decision, and then a judge later struck down nearly every aspect of that. Yeah, okay. Earlier this year, uh, many Democratic state lawmakers actually tried to pass more gun restrictions. They did. The state mm -hmm. legislature did did pass Benny's law. We've covered this yep. many times. It's meant to stop kids from getting a hold of their parents' guns and committing crimes. But many other bills have failed. Democrats are pushing for ones that would restrict assault weapons, they'd ban magazines of certain sizes, make a 14 day waiting period to buy guns in our state, and to increase penalties for gun trafficking. And it's going to be interesting to see if any anything related to this gets passed when we go to the Roundhouse in yeah, January. January. Yeah. All right, Tommy, thanks for the breakdown.